Hey, what's up, guys? It's Joel Benavides with the Block Squawk Podcast. It is the 5th of July, 2019, and time now, 8.31 a.m. Central Standard Time. U.S. markets are open for another Friday in the crypto market. Um, with, this is going to be the 65, 65th episode of Block Squawk, or 65th stream, and uh, we're going to get started right away. So let's jump on over to the chart, the Bitcoin chart, and uh, start squawking. Um, right now, Bitcoin trading at 11,157. Not much change from last night apart from like some shifting, some, some volatility. And uh, we'll be going over intraday in a little bit more depth later. Uh, let's just jump on over to the squawk and get started right away. And then uh, we can start talking about what's going on in the news and whatnot. I am passively monitoring the chat. So uh, if you're listening and you want to uh, jump on there, I'm happy to interact with you. I've been kind of neglecting the chat lately, but um, I'll I'll try to be a little more diligent on that. Um, If I'm not streaming, you want to get a hold of me. Really, the best way to do that is to do that through Twitter. I'm at Joel Benavides. That's at J-O-E-L-B-E-N-A-V-I-D-E-Z. And then you can also search for Block Squawk, B-L-O-K-S-Q-U-A-W-K. And uh, you can get the stream on YouTube, Twitch, uh, various social media and uh, podcast outlets like iOS, Google Store, Spotify, so pretty much everywhere um, podcasts are available uh, a lot of no namers too and, and that's through anchor so uh, but we'll go over all the particulars and stuff like that later just in the meantime but just be, make sure to uh, hit the post notification bell because really the best way to consume this stream is live and in order to do that you need to uh, hit post notification bells on twitch uh, that's the, the best way to do it because then you're getting the most recent data uh, apart from that if you're consuming it on anchor or YouTube as long as it's dated it should be relatively current uh, but it's not going to be live so with that said uh, let's jump on over to coin market cap um, this is the aggregated data from coin market cap so if you hear me say a price for Bitcoin and it's not matching what you're seeing on the screen that's because it's aggregating it from different sources not just coinbase or kraken which is the two exchanges that uh, i'm using for for pricing right now so uh let's jump on down we're gonna start with the top 20 coins and uh we're that starts with ethereum classic ethereum classic by crypto ticker symbol etc or etc.x is coming in at 20th by market cap trading at 7 and 78 that's down 2.99 percent on the 24 hour period with a 24 hour traded volume of 768.7 million approximately uh, and that's going to be the format that we uh, execute on until we get into like the top 10 and top three coins. We'll start adding market cap figures, approximate market cap figures uh, once we get up there. And uh, while I'm at it, let me just say that nothing that you hear on the stream today or podcast is financial advice, not to be interpreted as financial advice, trading advice, tax advice, etc. So with that all said, uh, let's continue with the squawk. Cosmos coming in at 19th by market cap, trading at 5 and 37. That's down 5.32% on the 24 hour period. Uh, 24 hour trade volume 64.4 million with an approximate market cap of 1 billion. IOTA by the symbol M I O T A in at 18th by market cap, trading at 38.8 cents. That's down 2.81% on the day with a 24 hour trade volume of 20.8 million approximately and uh, market cap at 1 billion as well for iota neo by the same symbol neo coming in at 17th by market cap trading at 17 and 22 uh it's down 3.4 percent on the day 24 hour trade of volume 501.3 million approximately and 24 hour trade of or i'm sorry market cap at 1.2 billion approximately just so i don't have to keep on saying approximately guys the 24 hour trade of volume figures price figures market cap Uh, All those are approximations. Really, the only exact figure that I'm going to give you uh, as it's displayed on CoinMarketCap is going to be the 24-hour percentage change. So uh, with that said, uh, I'll try to be a little bit more uh, coherent 
and uh, and streamlined. So we're moving to 16th by market cap chain link. That's a new addition to the Coinbase uh, trading platform and uh, exchange price now at three and 64 up 5.18 percent on the 24 hour 24 hour trade volume 182.1 million market cap 1.2 billion dash by the same symbol ticker dash and at 15th by market cap trading at 152 and 58 down 4.48 percent on the day 24 hour trade volume 264.5 million excuse me and uh, market cap at 1.3 billion monero xmr in at 14th by market cap trading at 87 and 32 that is down 3.85% on the day. 24 hour traded volume was 127 million uh, and uh, market cap at 1.4 million. Unison at 13th by market cap trading at 1 in 73, down 1.13% on the day. 24 hour traded volume was 12.5 million and uh, market cap at 1.7 billion. Stellar, Stellar Lumens, whatever you want to call it, XLM, ticker symbol XLM, and at 12th by market cap trading at a dime. 10 cents that's down 3.10 percent on the day 24 hour traded volume 356.8 million and market cap resting at 1.9 billion cardano by ticker symbol ada in at 11th by market cap trading at 7.7 cents down 3.91 percent on the day 24 hour traded volume 127.8 million and uh market cap just underneath 2 billion at 1.9 billion uh, moving on to the top 10 now guys top 10 now tron tron ticker symbol trx slash trx.x in at 10th by market cap trading at 3.2 cents down slightly by 1.53 percent 24 hour trade volume 765.4 million and uh market cap now resting at 2.1 billion bitcoin sv bsv ticker, ticker symbol bsv slash bsv dot x in at ninth by market cap trading at 199 and 67 down nearly a full percentage point at 0 0.99 percent 24 hour trade volume 361.8 million market cap now at 3.5 billion tether usdt uh, ticker symbol usdt in at eighth by market cap trading at one dollar even uh, down slightly at 0.59% on the day. 24 hour trade of volume, approximately 23.6 billion. And uh, market cap now at 3.6 billion. Yeah, Tether's fascinating, right? Because you get like that 24 hour trade of volume that's way up there in the, you know, uh, multiple billions. Uh, but the market cap is, you know, only uh, a few billion so uh it just uh goes to show the amount of uh trading that takes place in and out of tether uh so i'd be really interested to to learn more about how tether uh liquidity moves in and out of the market uh, it might make for a good uh good topic on the podcast one day uh not today though moving on binance by the ticker symbol bnb and its seventh by market cap Trading at 33 and 47, down 1.31% on the day. 24-hour trade of volume 272.9 million, and uh, market cap now at 4.7 billion. EOS by the symbol EOS in its sixth by market cap, trading at 5 and 81, down 2.67% on the 24-hour period. 24-hour trade volume was 2.3 billion, and uh, market cap now at 5.3 billion. Bitcoin Cash by symbol BCH in at fifth by market cap, trading at 403 and 35, down 2.87% of the day. 24 hour trade volume, 1.7 billion, and uh, market cap now at 7.2 billion. Litecoin LTC in at fourth by market cap, trading at 119 and 41, down 3.18% of the day. 24 hour trade volume, 4.3 billion. And uh, market cap now resting at 7.4 billion, guys, for Litecoin standby one. Okay, moving to the top three now, guys. Top three coins by market cap. XRP by symbol XRP, formerly Ripple, in at third by market cap, trading at 38 cents, down 4.24% on the day. 24 hour traded volume, 1.3 billion, and market cap now at 16.2 billion. Moving on, Ethereum 
by this ticker symbol eth eth ether what, what have you in its second by market cap trading at 292 and 24 that's down 1.4 percent on the day 24 hour trade of volume 8.6 billion and market cap now at 31.2 billion and lastly of course bitcoin btc in at first by market cap trading at 11,211 and 73 down 5 0.17% on the day 24 hour trade that 24 hour traded volume was 24.5 billion approximately uh, market cap at uh, just under 200 billion at 199.5 billion approximately and uh, of course circulating supply at 17 million 799 bitcoins approximately out there and so uh seven days spark charts are uh, highly correlated so uh we won't get we're seeing high correlation across the top 20 guys uh really no standouts apart from maybe chain link just because they've been a little flat uh and um uh, over the last few days but that, but overall 24 hour period they are up five percent so um outside of the top 20 let's see standouts uh tezos uh, on news yesterday that there was some adoption with with regards to tezos is up 4.79 percent there's some there's some there's some green coins and uh but the the real star is uh dogecoin pulling into the top 30 at 27 um i'll squawk their uh numbers briefly so dogecoin right now mark a coin market cap reporting trading price at 0 0.3 cents 0 0.39 cents and uh, that's actually up 19.82 percent on the 24 hour um and uh that actual figure is 148.7 billion approximately market cap for doge now at 475 million uh and so um so doge is up and uh and there's a reason for that and we're gonna discuss that um you're coming up next actually uh, stand by one minute guys uh coin um i'm sorry cryptopanic.com cryptopanic.com is my news aggregator um my primary one anyway and uh really the the only new trending stories that are online right now uh, that we didn't cover yesterday was uh, this news about Doge. And so uh, the reason that Doge is up is because Binance is listing them after months of community requests. Uh, that's the title of uh, an article by Carlos uh, Terenzi on usethebitcoin.com. Uh, and uh, and so it just goes over like the history of Bitcoin uh, proponents for I mean not Bitcoin Doge proponents for Doge and uh, just it's uh, it started out as like a joke coin if you're not familiar with Doge Doge is basically like the meme coin in uh, in the crypto space based off of the Doge meme right the the bougie word for dog right a bougie made up word for dog and there's like a little guy this is more to the story but essentially it's like a meme coin and uh it was, it was a joke that ended up becoming serious and so now with binance a leader of altcoin trading uh taking up doge uh it's it's pumping uh, and uh we spoke about doge weeks ago on the stream and noted that there was uh, a definite uh, chart pattern forming uh, and it seemed to point to possibly a breakout uh, slash the beginning of alt season uh, I really hate to to perpetuate that alt season you know summoning circle slash meme that Bitcoin put out but I mean Binance put out but um but uh, i'm not gonna say we saw it coming but we saw something coming and uh really uh it was most obvious on the charts with doge i'll pull up the chart right now so you guys can see it i wonder if it's still there um doge gets bitcoin on what let's see we were looking at it on uh where were we looking at it we we're looking at it against the dollar on Sorry guys, just bear with me one second. 
Yeah, I think we're having issues finding it on on certain exchanges because not every exchange carries it, guys. Um, anyway, I may have deleted the chart. Anyway, but I think I um, we may have been looking at it on Poloniex. Let's just pull up Bittrex real quick because I'm sure the charts are similar. Um, so. When we pull out and we look at the daily, yeah, here we go. I, I, it was on, it was on 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 Bittrex. Uh, we can see we drew this. You can go back and check it out. It's fat. That's so fascinating to me. So we drew this like a month or two ago, right? So we knew that something was coming uh, because there was just too many confirmations, too many touches within this to to ignore right and now binance comes out announcing that they're going to list dogecoin so of course it pumps right and uh and uh today over the last 13 hours or so uh they've made this announcement a few hours ago but we've had this huge pump and uh last night doge made it all the way up to uh half a cent right uh 0.5 cents so that's fascinating to me and guys this is gonna be like i i talked about this a very long time ago uh and it's kind of like abstract so bear with me uh this may be a little hard to swallow a little metaphysical for some of you but i've often wondered this right because i've seen this in traditional markets i saw this early on in the crypto market this phenomenon has happened before and that is the 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 larger chart pattern seems to point to a breakout in price up or down right and it couldn't it, it's something that nobody could have known right um nobody could have known i'm sure binance didn't uh didn't uh, really know that they were going to list it until recently. I, I would be really interested to find out when the discussion for uh, listing Doge on Binance began taking place. In fact, I may like brute force tweets to CZ Binance to, to find out because we see this over and over again, right? And so what this makes me this is this is the 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 metaphysical part right that may be hard to swallow right but this kind of makes me feel like like uh like there's something to the grand order of the universe god i know i saw, I'm, i know i'm sounding ridiculous right now right but bear with me let's say that let's say that they didn't really make a decision on listing doge until say the beginning of june right or may you know this chart pattern really hadn't completely formed yet you know uh so did it break out because of price action and people were just expecting it like i guess it's it's hard to correlate the uh approximate or estimated breakout of a coin from a chart pattern with an event that seemingly has no no uh premeditation I, I i don't know like it just it seems to me like there's like like sometimes technical analysis points to um a larger playbook right and i'm not gonna i'm not gonna go there like i know what you're thinking but but it's just it's interesting to me right uh i've always kind of had a curiosity for you know like abstract things like that metaphysical things like that ufos aliens the meaning of life whatever and so often i've seen this now it could be my brain just seeking out patterns where none exist uh but it's uh it's fascinating either way so we're gonna leave doge right where it is do the 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 damn dog strikes again um so i'll just I'm, I'm gonna leave it there i really haven't had a chance moving on i really haven't had a chance to go over uh my favorite uh, uh twitter list uh which is essentially like 
um i've had a list of uh favorite traders of about two three hundred favorite traders on on my twitter and uh over the last couple of years i've whittled that down from top traders to crypto traders to top crypto traders so the list went from 200 to 60 uh to like 30 and so w when i really want to get juicy stuff or like like um impact weighted news from people who should know i come to my top crypto heavy traders list right which didn't have a whole lot of members on there you know there's some organizations like uh poloniax trading view some venture capitalists slash ceos like tyler winklevoss um and uh and certain traders that are on there that are uh really heavy traders macroists day traders uh but i really get like my my best stuff from from this this list and so but i haven't had a chance to really look at it there is some talk about doge this morning and so uh, you know i can continue to watch it um so i really i'm not really gonna get into it well maybe we'll come back later on on the stream and uh discuss uh what the twitterverse is saying um but uh but yeah so there it is uh, let's leave that there for a moment um and pop on over here and take another look at the bitcoin chart before we get out of here guys so this is uh if you're following along on the stream or on youtube we're looking at bitcoin against the us dollar on coinbase and uh, i know i had uh the coinage platform up but i'm having problems loading my uh, my chart so I'll, I'll address that with them a little bit later so let's just look at it on trading view for now we have the visual range indicator on there anyway so we could see that we uh our uptrend was getting more and more parabolic and came to a head about a week and a half ago and we've had some volatility been bouncing around uh so i mean we'll just continue to watch it in terms of the hourly um we're basically ranging guys we're testing retesting and crossing various support and resistance um let's see we um we retested support at about just above 12k uh, around uh, the 3rd of july which is what like two days ago and that was set back during the end of june right and uh so after uh june it bounced around like the the latter half of june bounced around up there around 12k came down uh tested 97.25 and uh, and then eventually made its way back up to 12k over uh the course of the last couple of days um and uh last night we dropped down to uh 11, 000, right tested dropped below it consolidated just below it and then popped back up and now we're consolidating just above 11k right now bitcoin trading at 11,154 and two on the coinbase exchange coinbase pro um so uh that's that's where we're at right now uh stochastics were oversold last night uh but came up came up that seems to be a contributing factor and pushing us back above that 11,156 uh support line resistance line and uh and so it kind of kind of pushed us back up there uh in terms of visible range liquidity pools uh highly traded price levels um there's there's a lot of trading going on around 11,900 uh, a lot of trading going on around 11,330 uh, and another one down by 10,920 uh, so we got those significant areas where, where a lot of trading a lot of volumes taking place on on both sides right and so uh, and so um, that may be of use to you visible visible range i like using it uh but yeah um macd is right now is is undergoing a signal line crossover and looks to be it's below the center line looks to be pointing upwards so we may continue to see um growth that's a bullish sign uh that's a prelim like preliminarily bullish 
and uh and of course if stochastics are writing the oversold line they will tend to stay oversold they don't kind of oscillate right they they can stay up there if we continue to be in an uptrend uh and that's the hopeful word right but the truth the fact of the matter is that we have been experiencing lower highs and lower lows since like god like since we broke down on 26 june right so uh so there's no sign that this has turned around yet uh you know i'm tempted to say that uh this last bottom we had last night or a few hours ago is in fact a higher low and so all we need to do is really break 11,900 with volume to to uh to kind of get us out of this funk but that remember there is that big kind of like liquidity pool a lot of trading going on up there so uh it's gonna be a fight it's gonna be a fight between bears and bulls uh there's also a kind of like uh like a heart line going up through there so a uh, lot of a lot of barriers to cross before uh we get out of this funk so but we'll continue to monitor and uh if you guys have any questions comments concerns again you can reach out to me on twitter i'm at joel benavides i'm gonna put my uh my uh my robot self on to take us out of the episode and uh and we'll see you guys soon all right Thanks for listening to another episode of Block Squawk. Remember that nothing... Sorry, I'm still working out the kinks uh, behind transitioning to this. Let me turn out the volume real quick so you guys can actually hear me. And uh, and uh, we'll, we'll be back later. Thanks for listening to another episode of Block Squawk. Remember that nothing on Block Squawk is to be interpreted as financial advice, investment advice, trading advice, or tax advice, and seek out a financial advisor before risking capital. Block Squawk is listener supported, so if you go to anchor.fm forward slash Block Squawk and tap the support this podcast button, you'd be helping immensely in the maintenance, support, improvement, and longevity of the podcast and stream. If you don't want to contribute financially, you can always like, subscribe, tap the post notification bell, as well as comment and repost, and this also helps greatly. Again, thanks for hanging out with us a bit. I hope you reach out over Twitter. I'm at Joel Benavides. Apart from that, you can usually find me on Spotify, Anchor, Apple, and Google Podcasts, Stitcher, Radio Public, Facebook pages, Instagram, LinkedIn, TradingView, StockTwits, and more by searching Block Squawk or Joel Benavides. Good luck out there. I'll see you guys on the moon. Cheers. Bitcoin against the US dollar on Coinbase now trading 11,170 and 74. Um, just as a just a parting parting data, uh, I'm gonna briefly go over some choice exchanges on Coin Market Cap as we uh, as we uh, leave for the day. And by choice, I just mean my choice. But don't interpret that as financial advice either. So according to uh, 24 hour adjusted volume, Bittrex is in the 49th slot with 88, correction, 89.4 million in volume. Bitmax, that's M-A-X, in at 40th by 24-hour adjusted volume with 180.4 million. Bitstamp in at 39th with 190.4 billion. Kraken in at 37th with 256.8 million in volume. Bitfinex in at 36th with 351.1 billion. KuCoin in at 34th. Coinbase in at 31st. And moving all the way up to... Hitbit in the sixth slot 
and lastly of course binance in it first with 2 billion in 24 hour adjusted volume so uh that's gonna do it for us bitcoin now at 11,180. keep in mind there are uh highly traded price levels above and below us uh, with uh, mixed signals on the indicators and uh, questionable price action so uh, check your bias at the door and uh, remember that we'll see you on the moon cheers